Hey guys. So I posted something not that long ago about how if you really get clear about what it is that you're actually trying to get out of life, when trying to find clarity for what it is that you're actually after, and when you're trying to decipher what it is that you actually want, you have to ask yourself some questions. And I think a couple of those questions that have been really helpful for me are what exactly is it that I value in life? And so when I say value, I mean if you value your family, if that's a huge number one value for you or if that's high on the totem pole, then you'd probably want to prioritize spending time with your family. Same thing with friendships. If you value friendship, then you probably will feel good about yourself if you're prioritizing spending time with your friends, okay? Or making time to reach out to a friend, call a friend and schedule coffee and catch up with them because that's how you kind of cultivate relationships and keep them going. I think a lot of times people have an idea of what they want, but they're not actually certain to what it actually is that they're trying to get. So there, there may be more superficial wants, like somebody says something to the tune of, I'd like to make a lot of money, or I want to be rich, or I want to be wealthy. Well, what is it actually that you want? Is it that you want financial freedom? Or is it that you no longer want to work a nine to five job in a cubicle? Or are you wanting to travel? Are you wanting to retire early? Are you wanting to experience things? Are you wanting to have more time, have more freedom, have more leniency with your schedule? So if that's what you actually want, then those things are actually pretty achievable. Financial freedom is, is you know, that's gonna be different for everybody depending on their freedom number or the amount of money that they need in order to essentially not work if that's the goal or work part-time or whatever it may be. You could have a small buffer as a savings and that could be financial freedom. You might have $2,500 in the bank or in a savings account or in a retirement fund and that might lead to the feeling of being financially free. So instead of saying I want to be wealthy or I want a ton of money or I want to make more money maybe there's a more succinct way of putting that that is actually doable and may already exist so if you are in a position where you aren't gonna be bankrupted in the next you know six months or so you've got plenty of money saved then I'd say you're you're financially free so if that's if if offering clarity to what you actually want is, I want financial freedom, there you have it. You've already, you've already achieved it, okay? So the same thing is true with fat loss or just changing your body in general. A lot of times people say, well, I wanna lose weight. Well, what does that actually mean? Why do you wanna lose weight? What's, what's the real reason there? Is it because you wanna feel strong? You wanna feel confident? You wanna feel okay in your skin? you want to feel comfortable in your own skin, you want to feel capable, well, that can be achieved pretty easily. And it doesn't take years and years. If anything, it could take a couple months. You could hire a coach and work with them for three to six months and completely alter your, your outlook on getting in shape, gaining muscle, being competent when it comes to performing the exercises, being more competent when it comes to preparing your food or just knowing more about food in general. So if, if you're telling yourself you want to change your body for the better or if you want to get in shape or if you want to lose weight, those are pretty blanket, sort of generalized, non-specific goals and wants. But if you get more specific and you actually ask yourself why you want these things, then it can offer a considerable amount of clarity. And what you'll find is that by gaining clarity on these wants and these goals, they're actually much more achievable than you might think. And they're completely doable. And they're oftentimes not necessarily a destination, but some something you, you achieve over and over and over again. It's a destination that you practice getting to, kind of like happiness. Happiness is not a destination that you land on and you're just happy for the rest of your life. It's, it's work, it takes perpetual practice. And some people say that 
practicing the art of being content, purposeful, living with intention, being present in the present moment is what actually makes people happy. And that may mean that you're not happy all the time, but you're happy most of the time. And you that's a skill that you can get better and better and better at. Just like with working out, with you know, knowing more about food, knowing more about how food fuels you and how it fuels your life. So I guess the whole point of this video is if you want something, if you've wanted something for a long time, ask yourself what it is that you actually want. What is it that you really want? And get really, really clear about that. what that is. Discover why you want it, and then set measurable goals that can linear step you to the how. And, you know, take it, take it in bite-sized chunks. That's the best way to, to break down goals and achievements, really. So, I hope that helped. And if you need anything, uh, as far as fitness or nutrition, please feel free to reach out to me on all the social medias. You can, you can message me on Instagram or Facebook. We are taking new clients right now at Better Self, so uh, feel free to reach out to myself or Pamela. We would love to work with you, and we'd love to show you how to fuel your life properly. Okay? All right. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.